we've had MERS, we've had SARS, we've had all kinds of things. We've had Zika, we've had H1N1. This just happened to be one that kicked us in the guts, basically. We are more like uh, careful now on where we're going and what we're doing. Uh, especially as a nurse, we're not only concerned about ourselves, but concerns with our residents and the patients that we are, are giving care of. I've seen, for the most part, with my coworkers, to be honest with you, I've seen, I know there's emotion there, but I don't think it's uh, visible. I think that it's hidden because they want to be strong for others. We are so much more aware and so much more cautious now, which in many ways is a good thing, but so often were things that we just took for granted. With the release of the vaccines, it certainly has given people a, a bit of excitement to start getting beyond this terrible pandemic, which you know we already suffer from a, an institution of, of burnout, and the pandemic has just added an extra layer. People are nervous just because it's a new vaccine. When the public starts getting vaccinated, that COVID, as we see it, will not be the same. We won't have hundreds in hospitals. We won't have thousands dying. And so the vaccine is like, it's, it's a panacea for us. We're, we're so excited to see it coming. There are a few people who I know that are hesitant. They're, they're almost like a wait and see. They want to just see how the rollout goes, how people feel, side effects. I think they're just being a slightly more cautious. If people are educated, about the benefits of it, and 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 what the future could you know could be for us if we if we all get vaccinated. I I think that uh, people will uh, be more inclined to receive the vaccine. When I got the vaccine, I told to myself like, uh, thank God, I had the vaccine. It's an answer. It's an answered prayer for me. You know, not only for me, but for all the frontliners that you know risk risking their lives to save people and save uh, our clients. When I received the vaccine, it felt like you were participating in the making of history. Yeah, there was a, a, almost a calm sense of excitement, you could say, within the, the area where they were administering it, and, and, and a feeling of hope. Happy, excited, relieved, because that's really how I felt. I was excited to be able to be on the front line, to be able to get this vaccine quickly. It's all about herd immunization. So we need to get the majority of Nova Scotians immunized so that, they're, that we can eradicate this illness. We don't want to be on lockdown for the next five years. We don't want to be in a place where we can't visit our family or we can't leave this province. We don't want that. And the only way that's going to happen is if people take the vaccination. If somebody was drowning and you had a life preserver that you could give them, wouldn't you give it to them? This is the only way that we're going to preserve life, is if we get these immunizations, if we stop COVID dead. For us to win the fight, we have to get the vaccine, wear the mask, and social distancing. That's the most important now. You have to think about everybody. You have to think about um, your, your co-workers, your, your residents that you care for, your patients you look after in a cube. It doesn't matter where, where you work as a nurse. It's about your patients. It's about your family. We need to work together to make sure we get these vaccines in arms as quickly as possible. And the only way to do that is if we, if we use every single dose as soon as we can. Even with every precaution we've taken, this is one more add-on to our PPE that makes us so much stronger, so much more able to do our jobs and to be with the people that we love.